Hi, this is Stephanie from the Bay County Library System, and I'm here to show you our new mobile app. The app can be found in both the Apple Store for iOS devices and the Google Play Store for Android devices. This video will use an Android device, but the app will look the same in both types. To get started, open up the App Store you usually use, in my case Google Play, and search the term Valcat. You can see it here on my screen. It's V-A-L-C-A-T. That's the easiest, most direct route to the app and refers to the group of libraries we worked with to develop it. Click on the first result, VLC Member Libraries app. Once you get it downloaded, you can open it up and you will see a list of area libraries. We're going to select Bay County Library System, where you can enter your library card barcode and your PIN number. If it's easier and you have your library card handy, you can click Scan Barcode, take a picture of the barcode, and it will enter it for you. Your PIN number is a four-digit number associated with your library card. It's often the last four of your phone number, but you can customize it. If you don't know your PIN, you can reset it by contacting the library or from the library's website. You can also select whether to remain logged in. I generally do since I'm the only one using my phone. Once you hit log in, it will change the whole app to be just BCLS. This is where we get into the good stuff. There's lots of things that you can do through the app, so we'll just quickly cover them. First thing, right at the top, is the magnifying glass. That's our general keyword search for the catalog. You can type in a title or an author or any word that you want books about, a bit like Googling it. It will search what we have available. I'm just going to use one of my favorite books, The Girl Who Drank the Moon. When I hit enter, it will bring up a list of items that we own. Currently, there are five results, but I want to have a physical book at Auburn. So clicking the limiters on the bottom, I can switch to limit to Auburn and format to just books. When I click apply filters, you can see we've gone from five results to just one. If I tap into the results and scroll past the description, I can see that Auburn's copy is checked in. If I want to place a hold on it, I can scroll back up to the top, click place hold, select the location that I would like to pick up my copy at, and when I click place hold, I will be contacted when the book is ready for me to pick up. Tapping the home button in the top right hand corner of the app will take us back to the main menu where we can touch on a few more options. The book carousel has a rotating collection of our newest items. You can tap on a cover to go directly to that record and uh, place any holds or read the descriptions if you'd like. Going back to the menu, ebooks and e-audio acts like the search we did above, but it limits to just items that you can stream or download at home without extra steps. If we click into it and use the, what, the same title as we did above, you'll see we only have four results. The physical book is obviously not in here. One of them is a different book altogether, but one of them is an e-audio book. One of them is available on Hoopla, and one of them is available through Overdrive, our other, uh, our other collection of ebooks. Below that, we have Advanced Search. It allows for a more detailed, faceted search if you really want to drill down to something specific. The Kids Catalog is built for young patrons to safely and easily browse. It has picture-based browsing to help you find age-appropriate material. One of my favorite features is the Scan ISBN. If you're at a friend's house or at a bookstore and you see a book that interests you, you can just click Scan ISBN, hover over the barcode just like we did for the library card, and it will search our collection for just uh, items that we can get here, same as the previous uh, searches that we've done. Reading challenges is a fun one. This is where you go to register for all of our reading challenges, including seasonal programs like summer and winter reading, and ongoing programs such as Read Woke, Future Librarian in Training, and 1,000 Books Before Kindergarten. Only one account is needed for each family, and the Challenge Tracker, a program called Beanstack, will suggest reading challenges based on the family members' ages. Newsletter is a link to sign up to receive our latest updates, including viewing the copies of our latest newsletters. The social tab has links to our social media accounts, uh, both Facebook accounts, the Instagram account, and the Pinterest account, where you can follow us for all sorts of cool updates. 
My account, if you tap it, will open up a sidebar that shows the checkouts that you have, what holds you have, any fines you might have, and it's also where you can go into preferences and rearrange the menu by dragging and dropping to better suit how you will use the app. Upcoming events is a list of all of the programs that are coming up. Uh, if you, it has a whole feed of things, of programs for all ages, children through adults, and you can read all of the details. If you see one you like, for instance, this evening session's coming up, tap right on it and it will take you to the registration page where you can sign up to participate. E-resources is a one-stop shop for the many online collections, databases, and more that BCLS has to offer. The first page has a few featured items, magazines through RB Digital, Tumble books for children, crafts with Creative Bug, and in-depth language learning through Mango Languages, all provided at no cost to you. Right now, Ancestry has extended our in-library subscription to be accessible to you at home with a library card. Hoopla has a collection of movies, TV shows, music, comics, ebooks, and e-audio available to download or stream to most devices. And if you go a little deeper, Research Databases has tons of information on many topics, from car repair to what book to read next. Definitely worth a look. Speaking of reader's advisory, if you ever have a question about books or a reference question, you can get a hold of us at the library via chat. Tap on this link and it will connect you to a staff member who can help answer your question. Need to print from a mobile device or from home? Each branch has a wireless printer that you can send materials to by follow the instructions in this tab. Find information about each branch, including hours and contact information, in nearest libraries. You can even get directions. You can also check on the latest bookmobile schedule if you'd rather visit our mobile branch. Of course, you can sign up for a new library card for a family member or reset your PIN number for, as well. Plus, right at the bottom where it says My Barcode, it will pull up your barcode in case you're like me and forget your library card. I hope you have enjoyed this walkthrough of our app. If you have any questions, feel free to contact any of our branches. Thank you and have a great day.